they said, you know, we've, we've got uh, this issue. In fact, they even said if you don't, they wanted $6 million to make it go away. Like, I'm not paying you $6 million. And, you know, they made it pretty clear that if uh, the words were, if I don't get my money, I'm going to bury the founder. This is said to one of the executives. So I, I'm not for sale. You know, they can take the six million and whatever, they're, you know, they're not getting it. So, yeah, they tried to extort us, and we held firm, and <laughs> they took what I said, and they ran to Forbes, and Forbes printed it, and it went, uh, it went viral. Schnatter says the marketing agency who went to Forbes for the story wanted Papa John's to add a well-known rapper to its advertising campaign to negate damage from the NFL kneeling controversy, which Schnatter claimed in an earnings conference call last fall had hurt profits. It wasn't a slur. It was a um, session on strategy and media planning and training. Um, and I repeated something that somebody else said and uh, said, we're not going to say that. Um, we don't use that kind of language and vocabulary. And sure, it got taken out of context, and sure, it got twisted, but that doesn't matter. I hurt people's feelings. That's what matters here. And, um, and for that, I'm sorry, and I'm disappointed in myself that something like that could happen. Schnatter feels like some of his closest allies have rushed to judgment. As a result, he resigned his position at Papa John's and gave up his seat on UofL's Board of Trustees, which he served on the last two years. Leaders in you know, the UofL and the leaders at Papa John's have been, um, you know, it's like everybody's taking care of, you know, as long as they're covered, they don't really, they really, it's not a big deal. And that's been disappointing because when we got involved two years ago, I made it real clear that we're going to play this straight. We're going to play by the rules. We're going to put the cards on, on the table. And I'm literally gone for two days and the president's already playing games with the media already. I mean, she never called me and told me the sound was coming down. I found it. She, I got a text after the interview. I'll show you the text. Called me, you know, text me out of the facts. Said, "Oh, by the way, we took the sign off your stadium." So, wow. Okay.